Hey, how's everyone doing there? This is Undead Nightmare 24 back with a video. I hope everyone's doing well out there and staying safe. This video will be a uh, an update. I got some Blu-rays. It'll be a Blu-ray update. I got some Blu-rays in the mail as well as a vinyl record. I got a pretty decent stack of stuff that I've got in the mail, so I'll be going through that shortly here. Um just want to let you guys know that um I hit I hit 200 subscribers. I'm a little bit past it. And I just want to thank everyone from the horror community who's helped me out. You guys have been a big help. I would not be at 200 without you guys. So I want to say I thank you guys all. And I love the horror community out there, man. You guys are awesome. And I'm just so proud to be at 200. Never thought I'd even be close to this. So I'm highly appreciative of it. And really uh, appreciate your guys' support on this channel. So... I just do this channel for fun, man. It's a hobby, and I really enjoy it. It's one of my favorite hobbies is collecting uh, physical media, so I really like sharing this stuff with you guys and hearing your guys' uh, opinions on stuff. It's it's a fun, fun trip, man, and I'm glad to be here on YouTube and getting to know a lot of fellow horror fans as myself and not only horror, but just physical media collectors in general. But yeah. Big shout out to everyone there in the horror community. You guys are awesome. I wouldn't be at 200 without you guys. So greatly appreciate it. And to let you guys know that I will be hosting a 200 subscriber giveaway. I I know I'm a little late here, but I will um a little behind and I don't have everything together right now. But I will 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 be having a 200 subscriber contest coming up soon. I'll be giving away a few things there. So. Uh, stay tuned for that. I'll give you guys an update when I get more more info on it. But it's it's in the process, guys. So uh, I'll let you guys know. And again, thank you for everyone. I'm happy to be at 200 subscribers. So let's get this started here, guys, with a update I got. I'm going to start with the vinyl. One of, as you guys saw, one of my uh, past updates, I did pick up this film, Roadhouse from shout select this is one of my favorite this is my favorite patrick swayze film so i watched it and i really love the soundtrack so i decided to pick up the vinyl of it so i will be showing you guys the vinyl as well i picked up and i got this at barnes and nobles it was a uh, they're ex exclusive i guess if you picked it up from them you got like it's like a turquoise or light blue vinyl that's only a i guess it's a Barnes and Noble exclusive, but I really like this film and the soundtrack, so I had to pick up the soundtrack and let me show you guys the exclusive vinyl record here. It's from Roadhouse. And I guess this is their exclusive vinyl. It comes in this color. Kind of like a turquoise color vinyl. And I guess it's just from Barnes and Noble. So I picked that up. I had to get it to the collection. Really enjoy this film as well as the soundtrack. You can see as well it has a uh, pictures from the movie movie scenes. This movie's a blast to watch. I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen this, but yeah, that's the Roadhouse sound soundtrack vinyl. I am a vinyl collector as well. I'm steadily steady building my collection. There's Roadhouse. Okay, it's the vinyl. Now let's get to the Blu-rays. I picked this up on eBay. Got a pretty good deal for it. It's uh, Woody Harrison and Juliette Lewis and Robert Downey Jr., Tommy Lee Jones and Natural Born Killers. Uh, it's been years since I've seen this film, guys, and I'm excited to revisit it because I remember it being like a crazy film, but I like these kind of crazy films. This is a media book. You can see it came with that... This here, I hate this, it does not come off. But, and, and I noticed as I unpackaged this, for some reason the pages were sticky and they peeled off here, which really upset me. I don't know what the heck they sent these pages all stuck together. And they kind of peeled on the side, but oh well. And there you can see is the media book pictures from the film. This movie's 
Like I said, I don't remember nothing about this movie. Not Tommy Lee Jones. Uh, Tom Sizemore. Director there. We got Woody Harrison and Juliet Lewis. It's been so long since I've seen this film. Be a cool media book. All the pages and then got the disc in the back. And it does say it has the soundtrack also on the special features, which is something I gotta check out because I've never seen that where the soundtrack's on the special features as well. But yeah, there's the back art. On the front art media book, Natural Born Killers. Excited to revisit that. I'll pretty much watch it brand new since I haven't seen it that long. I'm straight out the camera there, guys. Apologize. Next up, we're going to go what I picked up from Ronin Flicks. I picked up a couple things from there. I got Mom. Call her mad. Call her a monster. Just make sure you call her once a week. I remember seeing this cover on VHS stores back in the day and an iconic cover and I was interested in checking out this film it's pretty interesting see there a pretty evil picture there pretty nice creature picture yeah I, I don't I don't know if I've ever seen this film maybe memories will come back to me as I'm watching it but I remember the cover for sure in the VHS store rental store back in the day that's mom from Ronin flicks next up I picked this up. I'm really excited for this. It's my favorite Chuck Norris movie. Lone Wolf McQuaid. Came with the VHS magnet or cover. It's a magnet. I like to hang these up. Pretty cool that they send you from Ronin Flicks. And man, this is one I'm very excited about. This is my favorite Chuck Norris movie. I believe I already said that, but yeah, it has Chuck Norris and David Carradine. Just some great cheese. And Chuck Norris is at his best in this film, in my opinion. And that cover art is just amazing. You can see there. It had some alternative art as well. One with McQuaid. Yeah, I'm excited for this one. This is a Scorpion release. It is Region A locked. But yeah, I'm glad Ronin Flix released this because this is one of my favorite films, like I said. Owned with McQuaid. Now let's get the next company I picked some stuff up was Eureka Entertainment. Um, there's a couple in there that interested me. I still want to get more from this company. Really like it. I got this, the the Specialists. This is a spaghetti western starring Johnny Holiday. It's a film by Sergio Kerbuchi. Kur I don't know if I said that right. If I slaughter that name, but. Yeah, this looks like a pretty fun spaghetti western. I'm starting to pick up some westerns as well. I really enjoy those films. It's a French western. And uh, I saw um, Carlos from uh, Eastwood Fan for Life show this one. And I was like, I tell him, I have this on the way, man. He said it was a pretty decent film. Not the best, but he said it's it's a decent one. So excited to watch this. Really like the slip cover. And we got there the alternate art it has a I don't know if it has subtitles or what probably comes with this booklet right here booklet is awesome see there Rika Entertainment and some cover art cover art inside art as well pretty cool edition of the specialist excited to check this western out specialists uh, next up I have from Eureka Entertainment also is a Johnny 2 film it's throwdown this one's uh, had an interesting story really Got me interested. It's like a kung fu martial arts action film. There's the alternative art. Alternate art. Has a, does have a lot of special features. These are all region B. So you would have to have a region 3 player to watch these. 
These both and these films have 4K restorations. They also come with a booklet. see there pretty awesome booklet excited to check this out too i really like enjoy martial arts movies there's a disc as well as the same art as the slip i flip them to the alternative art alternate art i'm sorry cannot speak today but yeah excited to check this one out had a good story too pretty much like about what i was reading it's a martial artist not Pretty much gave up on everything and becomes an alcoholic and pretty much has this rival guy that wants to fight him starts to pressure him so he starts to snap out of his slump and get back and challenge this guy i was reading so pretty interesting that's the throwdown next up we're gonna go to my scream factories i picked up a couple there and i'll pre-order first one up is Escape from L.A., John Carpenter's. I remember seeing this film, but I forgot a lot about it. It does have the iconic Kurt Russell, a snake. I know uh, the Escape from New York's the better one, but I remember enjoying this. I just kind of forgot it a little bit. So i revisit this one. This time he's in L.A. instead of New York. It does have the original art there. I remember that art on the VHS. Pretty nice addition from Screen Factory. Escape from LA. Pretty excited to add this to the Screen Factory collection. Now I can watch Escape from New York and Escape from LA back to back there. And then next up we got from Screen Factory as well. No, this is actually Shout Select. We have the Deer Hunter 4K. This has some beautiful art on it. I am very excited to see this film because um, this is one of my uncle's favorite films. He's always told me to watch this and I have always passed this film. I don't know, for some reason he tells me it's one of the better better films out there since then. He loved it. Stars Robert De Niro, Meryl Streep, John Cazell, Christopher Walken, John Savage. And this is brought to 4K for the first time. Screen Factory is doing some 4Ks. It's excellent. It does have the same art on the inside. Well, it has the DVD. The DVD and the Blu ray. I mean, the Blu ray and the 4K UHD. Really excited. Check this out after hearing my uncle's praise about this film. The Deer Hunter 4K. And now we get to my arrows. Got a few arrows in. We got White Fire. This stars uh, Robert Ginty and Fred the Hammer Williamson. Robert Ginty's from The Exterminator. This film looked crazy, man. I saw the trailer to it. It's like a action adventure film, but it has some pretty like intense gore. Reminded me of like an Italian film. And this this uh, slip cover is nice camera don't do it justice it's really glossy and embossed real nice i'm excited to check this one out as well there's the original well the alternate art there's a robert ginty from the exterminator the chainsaw right there that just knows it's going to be off the wall here it's quite a bit of special edition content and inside of course that same art on the slip. Comes with these nice arrow booklets. Really excited to check this film out as well. Arrow. That's white fire. Next up we got from Arrow Video also, we got Blood Tide, uh, Nico Master Rockus production, this has James Earl Jones in it, it's kind of like a creature feature, what I was reading is 
There's like these sacrifices where they're sacrificing these women to this sea monster. Is he real or is he not? It has a 4K scan of the original film. This one looked good. It looked like some 80s cheese. There's the booklet as well. Love these arrow booklets. It's a cool design right there. Yeah, this film looked like some cheesy fun. There's the alternate art. Right there. Yeah, I can't go wrong with some James Earl Jones, man. This one looked like a, like I said, a pretty fun creature feature. Blood type. And last but not least is we're sticking with Arrow. I picked up the woman. Starring Pollyanna McIntosh. This is a great slipcover. This is the collector's edition. It has two films. It has the woman as well as the offspring. And it has a brand new 4K restoration of the film. I did watch this the other night. And I freaking enjoyed this film a lot. It's very good. It, it, it has some great gore in it. Pretty solid story. And Pollyanna McIntosh. I know her from The Walking Dead. She does a great performance in this film. And it has the alternate cover art, which is the other film, The Offspring. Which I haven't seen yet, but I want to get to shortly. Yeah, it has a brand new 4K restoration of that film as well. And there's the inside. Love that cover art. I love that art. There's the Offspring, the second film. The nice booklet as well. Yeah, I really enjoyed this film. It's a pretty fun one. A woman. Well, those are my pickups right there, guys. Let me straighten this out right there. Yeah, the, let me give you a quick recap of the film. My pickups. We got Roadhouse Vinyl. Got a Natural Born Killers media book. Mom. Lone Wolf McQuaid. And I already dropped the magnet somewhere. The Specialists. Throwdown. Escape from L.A. The Deer Hunter and White Fire. Blood Tide and The Woman. That's my pickup, guys. My recent update. Hope everyone's doing well out there. Staying safe. This is Undead Nightmare 24. Back with a video. Keep it horror. Peace. Thank you.